Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you how how I um, how I sync manually sync video files um, with multiple from multiple cameras. Now I just did a video and I did a live stream. It didn't seem to work very good with XSplit doing live stream stream doing a live stream because what happened was this screen was not showing up. This one over here was showing up. Only on only when you would like be in this mode, then it would show all the clips. But as soon as you went to the actual clip, you couldn't see it anymore. So I'm showing you how we do it in this. So in a previous video, I showed you how how I made this pro, this uh, sequence ceremony synced. I took the ceremony, exported and and pluralized. But if you remember, there was several clips, additional clips that it couldn't sync. It wasn't working. So now I'm back in uh, the ceremony sync clips, and you can see the one camera's here, and the second camera is here, and it's not syncing. It didn't. There's more clips to be added, and I'm going to manually sync those, and I'm going to show you how I do it. What I do is I find something similar in the audio, and a good way to do that is to is to either mute one of the tracks, which is what I'll do. I'll mute this this camera here. I'll mute. This is the constant track underneath that recorded um, audio on this constant track for off the audio recorder. So that's what I'm going to listen to. So what I do is I find a, I find a clip. I watch the watch the video and find a clip where something happens that I know. So an easy way to do that is to look at the next clip in the in the list. So I've got clip here. This one's being used. So this clip is this one. See, six uh, sixty four sixty eight dot mov sixty four sixty eight dot mov. So the next clip down is sixty four sixty nine where the camera was stopped and restarted. So here's the next clip down. So what's at the beginning of this clip? So let's see. He zoomed out. Okay, there's a guy with blue pants giving her something to eat, and she reaches up to to get it to put the food in her mouth. Right here is what I'm looking at. So if I go to 150%, there it is. He's putting food in her mouth. And this camera's way in the back. So this camera's way in the back, and then he zoomed in. So let's say I get to that spot right there where he's putting the food in the mouth. And I'm standing here, so I'm, I'm, it doesn't look like I'm even recording. I'm looking away because a lot of stuff happens. So let's see if I can find something in a clip here where we, we are together and we're both doing something. So let's try here. Now this is... This is that, and then they took a little break, and then they started. This looks like we're back to people hugging and putting food in their mouths and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if I see the guy. I don't see the guy. I see a bunch of women walking by. Okay. See this? This guy comes and puts a chair down. Her, 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 her dad came and set a chair down. Okay. He came and set a chair down. So that's the spot where he came and set the chair down. So let's let's go over here and look. And I'll see that's that's right actually right before the split, before these two this camera stopped. This is right in this area. So let's see if I can find somebody bringing and setting a chair down. Oh, there's the chair. Then she sits in the chair beside the thing. More people sitting in there. No wonder it had a hard time finding this. Okay, he's putting the necklace around her. Let's see if I can find the spot, the clip where he puts the necklace around her. So. Wait a second. Right here, it looks like they're sitting here. This looks like a similar spot. Let's see. Yeah, there's the girl standing next to her. 
There's people's heads in the way. Yeah, here we go. He puts a necklace around her. Let's see. See, it gets tough because you can't find a spot where they actually did it. And then the guys come up. And they get behind him and take pictures. Okay, so... Do we have one where this girl's sitting in the chair? Looks, it's very strange. Let's see if I can find it over here. Is it over here? There's a girl sitting in the chair there. This audio stopped for some reason. Okay. So she's she's reaching down. Looks like this is the same thing. A girl sitting beside her, though. Let's see. There's a girl sitting beside her. There she's reaching down. See that? She's reaching down. Okay, to his foot. And there she is looking up. Then she brings both hands down. So does she bring both hands down in this one? Oh, I'm going backwards. Yeah, both hands down. So this is the same shot. Okay. So let's get where he goes. The guy points. This is bad because there's, there's two different things happening here. There he is pointing. Okay, see his hand? See his hand? He's pointing. So I set this at the beginning, and then I drag this to right there. Now, it looks like I might have to do a little bit of moving stuff around, but it looks like maybe these are actually moved farther down that it didn't. It Since uh, Pluralized Sync moved it right to here, looks like these are actually moved farther down. So let's, let's, let's see. Let's do a comparison. Okay, so what I do is, I find a spot like that, I set an end point, and then I, when I see something that's very close, like their hands going down... I scroll with my mouse wheel over here in the monitor. I move my mouse over here to the monitor. And then I find a spot like where he pointed. So you'll see his hand come up, point, and then it should cut to the other camera, and there's his hand pointing. And then she reaches back down. So if I if I click back off and turn this thing off, now she's got both hands down, both his hands are gone. So that's right. That's the exact same frame. Somebody got in front of it. So that's the same frame. So now I take the beginning of this and drag this clip out for the duration so now it's here. So now this should be just about the same. Oh, see, there's a guy doing the thing. We should be able to see this. There he is reaching. Yep. See this, see this hand right here? He's reaching, and then it cuts to the other camera, and there he is reaching. See, look? So it actually was the right spot. So let's go back here and look. So... Yep, she's got her hand up there. It's perfect. Synced perfect. Or close to it. Now, you can you can also go through. What I do is I'll go through and hold Alt. If you click a clip and you hold Alt, and then the left or right mouse arrow, I'm moving it frame by frame. So if you look up in the picture, see, over, oops. Yeah, because it went to the next thing. Over once, over twice. So I'm, I'm moving the video off, and now the video is coming back on. There's a video on, frame at a time. So, 
See, there's his hand coming down. So you can hold Alt, and as long as a clip is highlighted, left and right on the arrows will move it frame by frame, left or right. So if you're trying to listen to audio to see if it's trying to get it back in sync, sometimes it's better to do it that way. So let's see. Now let's see this audio here, because it looks like this audio starts, so let's see what this audio does. All right, you hear that drum? There it is. There's the drum. Poof. I could hear the drum right there. So I'm going to zoom in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a marker. And I'll tell you what I, what I do is I place a marker. I zoom in on this clip. So there's the drum right there. Right there. So right there, I place a marker. So I, while the clip is highlighted, you go marker, add marker, or just click M, and it marks the clip. See the little clip's got a marker? That's on the beat. So now what we do is I'll mute this clip and go to this audio here and see if I can hear it, because this is... Right there. Boom. I could hear it. There's the, there's the drum. I just scroll with my mouse wheel. So now what I'm going to do is drag the beginning of this audio clip back to that spot. Then I'm going to zoom the clip out, zoom the timeline out. It's really a matter of shifting through stuff to get this stuff to work. Now I'm going to highlight these clips because these are actually synced. And I'm going to drag this to that marker. See, the marker got highlighted. Now this clip starts on the marker. So let's see. I'm going to listen to both of them. I'm going to unmute this one. So it sounds like it's off a little bit, like it's like it's not like it didn't quite hit the beat. So let's look. Let's look at something that's yeah, the spoken word is easier to sing to. It's got a little bit slight, slight echo. So what I do is, while these clips are still highlighted, notice these clips right here are all highlighted because I drug them all at once. So if I hold Alt and left and right mouse button, it'll be shifting these clips left to right as I'm listening to it. So what I'll do is I'll start it. And I'm waiting for him to start talking. And I listen. There it is. See? It's, you don't hear an echo. See, so now you don't hear an echo. So let's move this. Now I can take the end of this audio, drag it back out. Ooh, I'm going to have to, okay. Did a funky thing there. Okay, so this audio stopped for a second and then continued. So now let's listen to the, to the audio. Perfect. You don't hear any echo. Perfect. Okay. So now I've got now I've got these synced back in line with the duration of the thing. Now see what I have is one camera. This camera is running most of the time, and then this other camera is cutting in and out back and forth. So now I need to find the next clip. 
So what we do is, I go over here back to the, the Nikon that I was shooting with, and this is the last clip I use. This is the next clip. So let's see what he's got on here. Okay, so this starts off with her mom looks like hugging her and bringing her hands back. All right? She's got her hands on. There's a flash right there, too, at the beginning. Perfect. Actually, this is ideal because at the beginning of this clip is a flash. So all I have to do is find that, find his mom or her mom. That looks, is that her? No, she's, wait, yeah. There's the flash. Nope, it's not her. Let's see. That is her, isn't it? It's hard to see because of the color, but it looks like her because she's got the same blue and red and gold, and I can't see, but this looks green. I'm going forward on the, on the timeline with the mouse wheel. Yeah, it might have been when she was pulling away after she kissed her and it's pulling away. Yeah, there it is. That's actually the shot. That's the shot. There's the flash. That's the shot. And see this rolling shutter on this camera, on the Nikon. This is a 4K camera, and this is a Nikon. But this is the same exact shot. So right there is where i got to set this clip. At the beginning of this clip. So, see? So now I just go like this. Set it right there. And now... See? See, she's got both hands on her, on their heads. Both hands on their heads. See? So, so now that one's synced. There's how I manually sync each one of these um, when I'm doing multiple cameras. It's more of me sitting here looking at them and trying to figure out what I'm what I'm trying to to accomplish here than it is uh, easy to explain, but that's how I do it. I'll find a, a visible or audio cue, and then I'll, I'll shorten the clip. I'll set an in on the on the on the playback monitor, set an in, and then dr and find the exact same spot, and either set a marker there if it's a long clip, or leave the cursor there and just drag it down and let it snap to the cursor. That's how I do it.